Hello, friends. Today, we will learn about drought. See, this soil looks very dry. When a region faces a shortage of water or experiences fewer rainfalls, the soil becomes dry and drought occurs. A drought can last for days, months, or years. Drought affects plants, animals, and people. It is a serious problem for farmers and for the people who depend on the crops they produce. Let's learn about the main causes of drought. Deforestation. When trees are cut down, the place becomes warmer. Thus, the water vapor in the air does not condense to form clouds and it causes droughts. Climate change. Warmer temperatures enhance evaporation, which reduces surface water and dries out soils and vegetation. No rain. In the absence of rain, no water seeps into the ground and hence the level of groundwater falls drastically and drought occurs. Human causes. Human activity such as wildfire, over farming, excessive irrigation, and erosion adversely impacts the ability of the land to capture and hold water. Never leave campfires unattended and always extinguish them properly after use. Let me show you the types of drought. Meteorological drought. See, this area is mostly dominated by a dry weather pattern. When an area receives less than its average precipitation, meteorological drought happens. It is mainly linked with a cyclonic atmospheric situation. Agricultural drought. It affects the ecology or crop production of a distinct area. It occurs when rainfall and soil moisture are inadequate during the crop growing season to support healthy crop growth till maturity, causing crop stress and wilting. Hydrological drought. This happens when the water in reserves like aquifers, lakes, and reservoirs drops below their normal amount. You see the effects of hydrological drought more slowly because it involves stored water that is used or moved but not refilled. You know, drought threatens people's livelihoods, increases the risk of disease and death, and fuels mass migration. So we should take proper steps to prevent drought. It's always good to plant native and drought-tolerant grasses, ground covers, shrubs, and trees. If we use water wisely at all times, more water will be available to us and to plants and wildlife when a drought happens. Now you know a lot about the topic. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye-bye!